What's up guys, MTG Matt for you. Long time no see, finally with a new video. And today it's gonna be a real quick video because I just wanna show you guys something that I think is gonna be really valuable to you and which I'm also going to use myself. So without further ado, let's check this out. So I'm heading over to my browser here and this is Moxfield. So Moxfield is a great website for just building decks. I think a lot of people use it to build decks for EDH because the deck builder here is really powerful. Uh, you can uh, sort cards um, according to different filters. You can tag your cards to get an even better overview of uh, what your deck is all about. And um, I've used this website to build free deck lists. Uh, they're not meant to be deck lists, but they're just lists of cards. Now, what are these lists about? So. As you guys all know, I'm sure this week, Dominiana Night is gonna hit MTG Arena. I'm really excited and um, I really wanna get out there, brew some cool new decks, especially because we are also getting rotation and we're getting the new standard format, which is super cool. And so um, what I did was go through all the cards we're gonna have in the upcoming standard format, right? Which is gonna be Domar Dominaria United and the last four expansions. And what I did is uh, I went for all the cards and for aggro decks, mid-range decks and control decks, I built these lists of cards which in my opinion are playable. Because uh, the fact is that if we look at the new standard format that's coming with Dominaria United, uh, the new standard format is going to have five expansions, which means five expansions is about 1400 to 1500 cards, right? But the fact is that you can, for deck building, if you want to build competitive decks, you can ignore about 90% of those cards because they're either meant for draft or they're just straight up garbage and are not playable, right? So what I did was um, go through all the cards for the upcoming new standard format. And in this example, we have the aggro playables. Um, I just filtered out all the good cards and put them in a list um, to have them all in one place and uh, just see what's possible there for deck building, right? With all the good cards, ignoring all the bad cards that are not playable. And this is a way to really get an overview of the format in general, see what's possible but might not be possible. And I think more than anything, this is supposed to give you guys um, some inspiration for deck building, right? Just check out. Um, what are the good cards or cards with potential? Because of course this list or these lists are very subjective. Um, they're my own opinion of which cards are playable and which are not playable. Now of course there are cards like, um, that's a good example. There are cards like Thunder and Raju, which have already proven themselves to be really, really good. So they are already a staple in the format, which means uh, this card right here is objectively a staple in the list, right? But there are also cards in here that have potential in my opinion and uh, require some experimentation to prove themselves and stay in the list or get cut from the list. Now, that being said, um, how I'm going to use this, uh, these lists is basically, let's say I decide to I want to build an aggro deck, right? I'm going to take this list, import it to MTG Arena once the new, um, once the United has released. And then I can just check, um, okay, do I see some cool deck, right? With the good cards and build a deck from there, right? And this basically eliminates the need to go through all the bad cards, You're never going to play anyway in standard. And you, I think your deck building is going to become better, more efficient. And um, yeah, you're just gonna just play good cards, right? Which is a good basis for building competitive decks. As you can see, I have a list for aggro, mid-range and control. And you, you can just use this as you like, right? There are gonna be cards in here you're gonna definitely disagree with uh, that they're in here or there are gonna be cards missing that you would like to see in here. And you can just copy uh, these lists and amend them yourself, right? And really go from there. Um, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you. As I said, Dominar United is gonna hit on Thursday. I'm really excited and I'm gonna use 
the list here that I prepared to really um, up my deck building. So hope you guys enjoy the value right here. I'm always going to put links for uh, these lists into my video descriptions and I'm also going to try to update these lists regularly so they're always up to date. So hope you guys enjoy the video and I see you guys soon.